ready to save the monarch butterfly, added some milkweed to your garden. Well, in this video, what we're going to talk about is the monarch life cycle and how to recognize it on your plants so that you know the milkweed's working. When it comes to the monarch butterfly, there are four main stages that the butterfly is going to go through. It's going to be an egg. It's going to be a caterpillar. It's going to be a chrysalis, and then it's going to become a butterfly. Chrysalis? Don't you mean cocoon? Well, actually, a cocoon is something that a caterpillar actually puts around itself, and a chrysalis is kind of like the body splits open and then it becomes a hard structure and then the butterfly continues to grow inside. It's a thing I didn't know until I learned more about butterflies. And monarchs and most butterflies actually make chrysalises and moths make cocoons. But how do you know whether your milkweed is actually working and the monarchs are visiting it? Well, one of the easiest ways, if you don't see actual butterflies flying around, is to look for their eggs. When it comes to the eggs, they are small and white, and usually they only put one egg in a location at a time. So you won't see them in clusters or in spirals. You'll usually just see one little dot of an egg. There may be multiple eggs on the leaf, depending on what type of milkweed you have. Things like common milkweed and broadleaf milkweed, which have very large leaves, may have multiple eggs, but things like an aquatic milkweed will probably only have one egg per leaf. Now that you've seen the egg, you know the monarchs are visiting. The next thing is to start looking for caterpillars. You may be wondering how long will they be caterpillars? It can go as fast as eight days from egg hatching to going and becoming a chrysalis or as long as 15 days. The things that will influence this will be the temperature and how much of their food is available. I have found that here in Florida, we tend to be on the shorter end. The warm weather really just gets everything going. And as long as I have enough milkweed, they really go from being a teensy tiny baby to a big old caterpillar pretty fast. And when it comes to caterpillars, there are five instars. Think of them as phases of the caterpillar. Now, if you're looking to see if you have any first instar caterpillars, you're gonna wanna look for a circle cut in the middle of your leaves. That can be a really great indication that you've been starting to have eggs hatch and that they're starting to make their way around the milkweed. But they will not tend to travel very far and they will move in a little circle and they are teeny tiny. Now you'll know that your caterpillars made it to its second instar when those little antenna in the front become little nubs. They're so cute. Now, once those antennas start to get to the nose of the caterpillar, which is actually its head, but I think of it more like a nose, <laughs> it means you're in the third instar. And once those front antenna become twice the length of the head or go a whole length beyond the nose, you are now having a fourth instar caterpillar. Caterpillars are in their final instar, the fifth instar, when those front antennas are about three times the length of their head and the antenna on their butt are a good sizable length too. And once they're in their fifth instar, you're gonna see that these caterpillars are an inch and a half to almost two inches long. So where did your caterpillars go? Well, between the second and fifth instar, your caterpillars are gonna start roaming for various reasons. So usually you'll find that, especially in the afternoon evenings, that your caterpillars are gonna go on a walk. Sometimes they're going below ground cover so that they can get protection from animals like wasps and lizards and birds from eating them. You may also find that your caterpillars are going on a walk because they're cold blooded. The fact of the matter is, is depending on hot or cold it is, they're gonna go change it up. So when it's getting really hot in the day, I often find that they go below my ground covers to get a little bit of shade besides protecting them from predators. Or on days that have been colder, they'll actually find branches so that they can warm up. You'll also notice that when caterpillars are in the colder seasons, their black stripes will actually be thicker and that's due so that they can actually absorb more heat from the sun. And then another reason that your caterpillars are gonna go on a walk well, they're going and looking for a spot for their chrysalis and they can travel up to 20 feet to look for that perfect location. And when it comes to finding locations for the chrysalis, monarch caterpillars like to have hard structures that give them a lot of protection. So it can be anything from other plants with woody stems. It can be things like the bricks on your wall. It could actually even be the edges of pots or right behind you. My banana tree seems to be a favorite lately for my monarchs. And another reason that they may be taking a walk is so that they can identify other locations with milkweed in case their milkweed runs short on their home plant. Now, once your caterpillar starts to go into chrysalis, it takes less than 12 hours from them to go from that chubby fat caterpillar. They'll hook themselves into a J formation and then they start to shed their skin and form a chrysalis. About 12 hours later, they'll be hardened. And if you need to move them, you can do that but be very careful to take all that silk off so that you can reattach it somewhere else. And I have a chrysalis, how long till I get a butterfly? Now the monarchs grow up really fast and once they're in a chrysalis, it's only about 10 to 14 days before they emerge as a monarch butterfly. Again, your monarch will stay in its chrysalis longer or shorter depending on the temperature and weather around them. So down here in Florida, we tend to be a lot closer to 10 days from going chrysalis and emerging as a butterfly. 
And now that your monarch is emerging from its chrysalis, you can now tell if you have a boy or a girl. If you look at my shirt right here, you can see I have a boy monarch on here because of these two dots right here, that tells me it's a boy. And if there are no dots there, you've got a girl. And now that you know the monarch life cycle, you may need to know the basics of milkweed. Or you need to know how to get more monarchs to your milkweed garden. Or you need to know how to make a lot more milkweed for free. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.